Hi, I'm Tavleen from buildwoofunnels.com and in this video, well, I'm going to show you how to use the product selector in Arrow Checkout. So what the product selector allows you to do is that you can increase your average order value on the checkout page by using it. Uh, let me give you, let me show it to you how it actually uh, works and looks. So here we've got, so this is actually a real checkout page. It's of Arrow itself and we've got three plans here, one, two, three, right? And what this allows you to do is that you you can choose, you can switch between plans. So let's say you um, carted the basic plan. Now uh, you, you'll be able to see two, the other two plans as well. So, the, so it means that even while you are checking out, you have the option to switch between plans, right? You can always move on to the higher volume plan, uh, the higher value plan if you want on the checkout page itself, right? So again, uh, what, um, what you need to understand here is Two things. Number one, you're allowing people to select one of these three plans, right? So which is why we've got a radio button. You could also have them select all of these if the product in this case was if you were selling multiple multiple products using this checkout page, right? And secondly, the way the best value has been highlighted. So uh, basically, you, this could be a super saver deal or the best deal or the most popular plan, right? So you could use tags like this uh, to highlight the plan, which is actually uh, which is uh, super saver or you know which is uh, which is of maximum benefit to your prospects so these are the two things that i am going to show you but before that you should keep in mind that this works like wonders when you are creating order forms or product specific checkout forms so this uh, this really would not make much sense if you are using it for your typical um, e-commerce store but if you're creating uh, special order forms and you're selling products uh, through uh, this order form so you're going to be directing traffic to this directly and there's only one or, or maybe let's say two or three products that you're selling through this order form so now let's uh, let me show you let's go behind the scenes and uncover this all right so here we are now in the product section what i have done is that i have added this one product which is d3 supplement for healthy skin three times because the deal that I want to create here is that um, if they buy one pack, they will get a 10% off. But if they buy three, they will get 30% off. And if they buy five, they will get 40% off, right? So these are the three deals that I'm offering. Now, if they uh, simply choose this one, then uh, if they cart this one, then on the checkout form, on the checkout page, they will be able to see all three of these deals and they will have the option to switch between uh, the three options from the checkout page itself right so once you have set this up this is the setting section in which you get to select everything else so you can restrict buyer to select only one of these products this is ideal if you are selling similar products with different pricing plans or different quantity so like the one i show you in, in arrow is, uh, is is actually different pricing plans and in this case it's different quantity with different discounts um, discount amounts uh, now the second option is allow buyers to select any of the above products so in this case it will not be a radio button but a checkbox and they will be able to select multiple products in the listing right uh, they can just simply check the box and select multiple products uh, and this is for select all for sell all of the above products this is when you're selling a bundle and you want to show all of this is included in your uh, in your pack in your order so all these three or four products are actually part of the order that you're placing here so in this case i will just to restrict uh, buyers to select any one of the above products that's the deal right now now let me go into the design section And well, I'm going to hit customize. All right. So when you actually click on the customizer section, then this the customizer section will load. And this is what you will be able to see. This is the product list. So you've got the uh, you've got the 10 percent, 30 percent, 40 percent off by five and save that much by three and save that much. So one can select what they like. Also, if you want, you can write um, some more details about each of the plans, what's included in, in your plan. Uh, to do that, you simply have to go here. And you have to write what's included. So in bullets or in paragraph style, you can write about each of the plans and why they should consider it. Alternatively, you can also turn it off. Yep, so it's gone. Let me show you how actually it will appear. 
So just to see how this actually appears, uh, based on uh, the option that is selected, they will be able to see here what's included in the plan, right? So that's how it looks. To do that, you simply have to go into the uh, checkout form section and here into form settings. Now in the form settings, uh, when you go into this little section here, you've got best value. So you can select the product so let's say the second one is the best value for us. Yep, so this is how it's going to appear and you can say super saver, right? So um, you can do that as well. And there are a lot of other options right here. You can uh, change the section background, the section heading color, section subheading color, uh, different form elements, the save, um, uh, you know, the, the text in which save is written and all of these. So you can change a lot of these things from here. You can completely customize this. Uh, so uh, you can even change the button color and all of that. But that's that. So in this video, we were only talking about the product list and the product selector or the product switcher, right? So that is how it uh, it works. And uh, uh, you, you must use it to increase your average order value in the last minute on the checkout page. And you must remember that they when it's only when they cart the lower, let's say when they cart this product, they will be able to see all the three uh, products, all the three, three options on the checkout page because they're of higher value. But if they cart this product, then they will not be able to see the lower option, the lower price option, which is this one, right? So it acts very smart and uh, it, it very smartly allows people to switch to the higher volume plan and change their mind uh, to increase their order value, right? Well, so that was product selector. Just to conclude things, I showed you how to create that product list on your checkout page, uh, how to restrict people to buy only one of the given options or um, two of them or all of them or four sell all of them, right? And we also saw how to put a best seller or a best value or a super saver badge on one of the options so that people feel easy to make a choice. Um, that was it. If you have any more questions that I haven't answered in this video, please feel free to drop them in the comment box below. I will be more than happy to take them up for you. Thank you so much for watching.